Syntex and Viva Topics are both part of Project Cortex, but which one does what? Now, the big SharePoint challenge has always been the taxonomy, so classifying and organizing our data as if it was in a library. Now, not just from a data protection point of view, but also so we can better organize, find, and understand it. Almost like if we were a librarian looking to classify all of our books in a library. But not everybody's a librarian, and the way that we use tools like Teams and OneDrive, we upload data or we migrate files into SharePoint, means that that data doesn't always get classified. Both Topics and Syntex are designed to help with these problems. Syntex helps with content understanding and extracting information out of files so that it can be used. You'll train Syntex with examples of the data, and it can then find that data, extract that out, or classify it. You can use it to better protect data and even automate using it. Here's five simple examples of where you might use it. First, invoicing. For example, extract information like the due date or the amount from the file. You could either make it so it's easier to see that data in SharePoint or in Teams as part of that file metadata or timesheets. If you haven't got an enterprise resource planning tool, then getting access to timesheet data is very difficult. You might use it to pull data from submitted timesheets and then be able to see that data, pull that into reports very, very easily. So it's a real big benefit of Syntex. Or perhaps you've got HR and benefits forms. Most people will complete that data when they join the company, but it just gets filed away forever. Now, imagine if you could pull that data out automatically and generate reports. You could use it as part of your system to better automate some of that employee engagement tasks, like reminding people what they've signed up to and saying, well, you should use this great benefit that you've got. Maybe you haven't used this lately. Targeted information there or contracts. So there's a lot of time and effort that's necessary to keep on top of contract renewals unless you build or keep that data in another system or a spreadsheet. You can use Syntex to pull that information out and use tools like Power Automate to remind people of contract renewals or just give you better reporting. Statements of Works, pull some of that data out of the SOW automatically and then into project management systems. Now that is always a time consuming process where project managers have to go find that information, bring that into other systems or put that into their projects or build their own reports from it, unless you've got a specialized system for that. Now this is gonna help you report on the project length, scope, the customer it relates to all in one system. Check out Joel Olson's article on Practical 365 and his tech talk for more examples of that. So the key thing with Syntex is extracting valuable information from that content and allowing it to be either found, classified, or fed into process automation. It's about what's in the file. Now, another related challenge there is classifying information based on how sensitive it is. Now, that's less about organizing the data and making sure it's stored safely based on the content. E5 licensing in Microsoft 365 lets you do that using the DLP related tools. So you can classify data based on whether it has personal information, passport numbers, credit cards. Syntex adds on top of this so that you can protect information like those invoices that we found because it's an invoice rather than because it has an account number or credit card number inside. Now Topics is different. Topics was launched early in February as part of Microsoft's new Viva product, the employee experience platform. Now, an employee experience platform is more about engagement with people, being able to provide them learning information, being able to provide them better connections to the culture of the company, but also to fit into their knowledge and improve their expertise. So think about joining a company and hearing a new project code name mentioned all the time. Unless someone's created a specific destination and organized all of that relevant content together, it'd be really hard to find out about it and who the key people are, what they're doing on that project. Viva Topics is focused on making that task and tasks like it much simpler so that people can easily find information based on those topics. Now, just like Syntex, it uses AI and machine learning, but instead of looking at the details inside files, like the total of an order, it looks at the bigger picture. 
and it categorizes the data and knowledge into topics. Now, here's five examples of where you'd use Viva Topics. So first, projects. So you might use it for your internal initiatives or perhaps external customer projects that you're working on. Or customers, everything about a customer, you know, the interactions with them, the projects that you've worked on with them, being able to look at a specific customer and then find out all of that related information about them in one place. Or perhaps inside your business, you've got practice areas, specializations in the business. A big issue that we hear from lots of businesses is that they want to be able to break down the doors between different areas of subject matter expertise and share information. Being able to find out about those practices in one place is a key thing that topics can do. Or processes. So key business processes like HR onboarding, sales processes that people need to walk through, manufacturing processes that are repeated across different projects or customers and more. That's a good area where you can use topics. And products as well, you know, what you sell to customers, sales information about that, the documentation, the product descriptions, who's using your products, all in one place. So information from topics gets exposed across Microsoft 365 in different places, including Teams and SharePoint. So you might see a bit like a people card, a topic card, when someone mentions a topic, for example, they mention a project name, you hover over it and you, then you see everything you need to about that and then you can go and drill into that data. It's almost like an enterprise Wikipedia. And then it goes further into places like Yammer, where if you perhaps ask about a particular project or customer, then bots can come in, link to the experts on those topics when people ask about them. Fundamentally, Syntex is finding the needle in the haystack. Topics is sorting those haystacks. Now you can learn more about how to set up Syntex in Peter Rising's series on Practical 365. And Joel Olson has examples of how to use it in his Practical 365 article. And of course, don't forget that he's got a tech talk coming up on that. And if you want to learn more about Viva, then check out Paul Robichaud's recent article.